Stereo Lab in particular, we had. Stereo Lab played with us and um, quite a while. And this other band, who are friends of ours from Olympia, Washington, and the U.S. called Unwound. They're Kill Rock Stars band. We like them, and they they were over, and we asked them to play some of the dates with us. So it was Stereo Lab and Unwound. And Beck sort of did quite a few shows with us, and he was a blast to be with. And um, and in England, we're sort of we got um, different regional bands from different areas that we're playing. I mean, we're not playing in many areas. We played Manchester and Glasgow and Scotland and uh, London, but just a lot of bands here that we wanted to play with and so we just sort of got a few to do it. And this other band from Washington DC is over here and they're playing with us and they're called The Makeup. And they're really good. One of the most fantastic bands around with Yeah, they're really fantastic. Yeah, they're great. <clears throat> so that's been making it a lot of fun is just sort of being with all these people we like. And you know, just trying to stay healthy. I mean, most bands when they go on six-week tours for Europe, they invariably get sick. They get colds, and everybody feels rotten for a lot of it. It all falls apart in Amsterdam. And it all falls apart in Amsterdam. It almost fell apart in Amsterdam. And um, but we're doing okay. This is the last leg, and we're you know we're rushing headlong straight into the punk rock wall. <laughs> so um. What video would you like to see first? Um, uh, the Stereo Lab video? I forget the name of that. What's it? Sibeli's Reverie. Yeah. That one? Very pretty, that one. Yeah, that's really cool. We were talking to them about that video because we were curious about the, the dancing ladies in the video and we were wondering if that was like some found footage they had or if they actually um, used real dancers and they said they used real dancers. Three real Australian dancers. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's really kind of fantastic and otherworldly looking. I like it. Here it is, Ava. Thurston's choice. So, um, so that's your touring commitment sort of finished now then, for the time being? Pretty much, yeah. We might do some festivals this summer. European ones? Yeah. Anything inked in yet, or? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think we're doing Reading. Some dates around that. Yeah. Check press for details on that one, then. But uh, what about recording? Are you going to go back into the studio anytime soon? Um, I don't know, I think we're going to take a little bit of a break. And uh, we're setting up our own studio, and so that'll take a little while to get that together. What do you do when you go on holiday? Do you go on holiday? Mm, well, we don't, I don't know, really go on holiday very much. Um, we're just busy all the time. Um, like Thurston has some solo stuff that he's going to do when he gets back. Um, he plays with this drummer in New York. And um, I might do some free kitten recording this summer, maybe it's for... Um, what about Lee and, um, Lee and Steve? Have they got anything coming out? I think Lee is uh, doing a tour with um, his girlfriend. She shows slides and they do this thing together. And I think they're touring, doing some dates in Europe. I think, Steve's, name. I think Steve's going on holiday. <laughs> I know. I think him and um, Liam from uh, Oasis, they go out to this this uh, beach down in the south of Mexico uh, and sort of hang out, write songs together and stuff. It's kind of cool. The reason I'm talking about that it should be kind of fun. What name is Lee going out under? Just as... I don't know. Lee Ronaldo. The raw one. <laughs> No, I don't know, man. I think he just goes out on himself. And he does these kind of guitar, um, guitar things. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Well, he does sort of guitar Spoken text word, kind of guitar. pieces. Yeah. yeah, that are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So maybe some free kitten stuff coming out. Not definitely that. Maybe. There's a single that came out a little while ago, a month ago. I haven't got that yet. They have it at Rough Trade Basement, man. It's called Coco's Theme. And Thurston, you've got some solo stuff coming out too. Yeah. I have some, I'm doing some um, kind of uh, uh, playing with these 
improvisers in New York like Tom Sergal, who plays with the Blue Humans, who came out and played at the Disobey night once about a year and a half ago or so. Doing stuff with him and this other percussionist named William Winant. William Winant. Um, and um, we're going to be playing the Victoriaville Festival in Canada in May. And then we're going to do this heavy new music festival in New York in June. And I like, I really like playing with those guys a lot. And, Could you uh, and hum any of it for us? Excuse me? Could you hum any of it for us? Hum. Can I hum any of it yeah. for you? Give us an idea. <laughs> That's sort of a piece that I like. I'm sort of working on. I'm using that as sort of the central kind of crux of this work I'm working on. But um, kind of an easy listening sort of vibe you're going for that. Kind of sleazy that. listening. Right. Yeah. Kind of a breezy little little thing I'm doing this summer. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm working on X girl stuff. I forgot. <laughs> Getting out the spring line. Right. Do you design a lot of that yourself? Me and my partner do, Daisy. What's your theme going to be for spring? Um, Hemlines up. <laughs> Hemlines up. Uh, you know, we do the three lengths. Short, medium, and right. the new length. It's not going to be the new look of new look. The, the new look of new look? Well, the look is the Mark Jacobs line. The new look of new look. I was making, like, I think it was Dior who did the, the new look back in the uh, uh, early 50s. Um, well, we will have an It Girl, probably. What's It Girl? No, the It Girl. Right. I suppose the Un Girl. I kind of... Well, like, Chloe. Twiggy was an It Girl. Right. Chloe's an It Girl. Chloe was our It Girl for a while. Yeah. Now she's the Mew Mew It Girl. So, to a video, then, which would be... Actually, we've got a problem, because you wanted LL Cool J, and you yeah. wanted the border. Oh, I don't care. I've seen Some the Cool J video. I just it was feeling nostalgic. Like I brought along that radio C D. Such an amazing piece of minimalism. <laughs> so we'll 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 try and fit them both in. So it could be LL Cool J. It could be the boredoms or it could be both. And it could be Charlotte Gainsbourg who's singing with her father, Charlotte by Charlotte. Thank you very much.